horrific, irresponsible behavior, if not criminal behavior, uh, on the operation of the Twin Cities. And I've, what I've done is put a pack together, Council, and I've kind of asked you to, I want you to kind of go through this. So boring, people. This is not entertaining. Um, but what has happened is there is no Twin Cities. And let me tell you why I originally asked to speak here. I talked to city manager, both cities. I talked to the mayor. I said, who's on the Twin Cities board? If these people are going to be deciding our lives, who are these people? Who's on the board? They say they don't know. So we, uh, uh, nobody seems to know who these people are. So people give guesses who they might be. Sharon Elam. I call Sharon Elam. No, I'm not on the board. Uh, we must have spoke to uh, Tony Courtney. Oh, no, no, I'm not on the board. And I'm going, well, who is on the board? And I found one person in this entire community after numerous calls. Well, Patsy thought she, well, thought she might be on the board. Uh, but we found one person who unequivocally, uh, Philip Peterson, said, yep, I'm on the board. And that was it. And I said, well, people, when have you had your meeting? I mean, well, it's been at least five years or so. We don't know. It's just kind of. And you want to tell you something? This is an organization that has about we don't know for sure because we nobody's had a meeting and there's no treasurer. Probably $120,000 of your money and Kabul's money. So what has happened is um, when this is formed, it shall you shall have, and all this is documented and we passed some of the documentation out. It's it's really pretty scary. Uh, back in was it 98, 96, 86, 1986. Um, the city council here, uh, Joe Hilton was the mayor at that time, Joe Broderick was the city manager, and they, uh, you have to go through your city. But the most important thing, I'm not going through all the details there, but I highlighted stuff for you, but the most important thing is the very first thing they had to do was they had to get three people from the city apply, the taxpayers from the city apply. It shall happen. You cannot do it. We never had that. So it was void ab initio in my legal opinion, but that's the best I can say about the worst that this organization has done. But the, the bottom line is you cannot be a employee of the city and be on this board. Yet the city managers have consistently been on it from both cities, council people who would be considered in that. Do you know how people get on that board by law? The mayor brings them before the city council and the city council has to approve them. Do you know the city council has only approved, we've got the minutes that, again, thank you, mayor, for helping us with this. The minutes that show that the only people ever approved were people who couldn't be on the board anyway. There's nobody on that board because none of you people have approved this. So you've got all these problems going on and then their own bylaws say you shall have somebody from the IDC, somebody from the chamber, and somebody, I guess, from the city. And there will be an alternate who can vote when the, the board member can't, director can't. Well, you know, people forgot that. They forgot who was a board member and who was an alternate, and they were letting 